Hello Capricorn and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. This person is being spiritually led, okay? I feel like they're being shown some things. Um, the higher font is out here telling this person that they've been a fool. They knew they needed to come forward with some kind of offer um, or an apology or communication. They needed to do this a long time ago, and they've been avoiding it like the plague, okay? <laughs> they have. They're very burdened by this. I feel like this person, they didn't want to confront the situation. They had a chance to talk, but they decided to just continue to carry the burden of this um, instead. I feel like it's this it's really changed this person. And with the two of pentacles out here, I'm getting the feeling like spirit is really messing with their head. That's what I'm getting, okay? They're confused. Um they're tired, they're exhausted. Um, I feel like uh, they're fighting against spirit. Spirit's telling them one thing and they're trying to live their life another way. Like they're avoiding it. They're avoiding the, the messages that spirit's giving them. Um, I feel like the divine is telling this person they, should, they need to take an, a leap into a new beginning. They got to start something new or they should have come forward to, to speak to you. Yeah, they want, that, they want this person to give you some kind of communication. Okay, and I feel like the more tired they get, the more you boss up. Um, it's almost like... With every bur new burden, like as it's, it feels like spirit is taking things away from this person or stripping them of things and giving them burdens instead. And at the same time, they're giving you blessings. So you're getting the blessings and this person is like losing what they've got. Okay, the longer that this happens, because you, you kind of keep leveling up. You go from the empress and the minor to the true empress here. The, with every burden they have, you get a blessing. Okay? I feel like their self-esteem, their confidence is taken away. Their stability, definitely. Um, they could be very broke right now. The two of pentacles is robbing Peter to pay Paul. So this person could very well have a lot of financial burdens. And you are being blessed. Spirit is giving you more blessings. So um, if you could be a boss, a business owner, if you have your own business, it's going to be booming. Okay. Um, if you've been working really hard to save your, your money, I don't know, you're going to get a bonus or a raise, something like that. Um, I feel like you've got a lot of financial independence here. Um, even if you have, like, you don't have to have a ton of money, right? You could have an extra 20 bucks. That's 20 bucks more than what this person has. They may just have $2, right? And you've got 9 or maybe 10 as, and I feel like um, they could have a lot of bill collectors hounding them right now. Look at, yeah. You're in this Ten of Cups energy, and they're in the Ten of Wands energy, okay? Um, you've got wish fulfillment out here. You're, um, you're going to start noticing this could feel like a very lucky time in your life um, where you're getting more money. You, you could be um, moving to a new home, getting a lot of upgrades, okay? Um, spiritual upgrades, financial upgrades, um, new soulmate connections maybe, a new home, right? Your, your business growing, and this is something that's strong, something that you've been led to do. See, you listened to the messages that Spirit was giving you, right? With this bird on your hand, Spirit's been talking to you and leading you through everything this whole time. And you've listened, and now you've become abundant. You've learned every queen in the deck, okay? 
and this is where your wishes are going to start being fulfilled. The, man of, the things that you manifested, things that you've wished for and dreamed for, they're going to start coming to you now. But your person, I feel like their situation gets worse and worse and worse. They get more and more confused, more and more broke. They, um, they're having, yeah, look, fame, fortune, and prosperity. And they were supposed to come in and do the right thing. But, I see, I, I feel like this person, um, they backstabbed you. They betrayed you. They could have talked smack about you behind your back, dragged your reputation through the mud. They could have said some miserable things to you, to other, or about you, sorry, to other people. Now those other people um, are going against them. I feel like you're doing something in the public eye that everyone can see. People can clearly see your transformation. Like it's a huge transformation for you. And you worked every bit for this, okay? Um, and... Especially if you have your own platform, people can see that you're spiritual, you're intuitive, um, you've got this beautiful, I'm talking to somebody who's, who's very calm, very peaceful, um, very kind to other people, okay? And other people are seeing this too, even the ones that um, this person gossiped about you too, okay? Now these people are turning on this person, so they're losing friends, they're losing credibility. People are seeing now that this person, they just betrayed you, right? They were smug. They could have bragged about the things that they've done. They could have put you in third parties, went out drinking a lot, bragged to their drinking buddies, okay? All of the people that they've been talking to now are turning on this person. Seeing the truth about you, it's abundantly clear, okay? With the star energy out here, yeah. You could have been dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like there's someone else around them. Maybe a friend um, that wants you, yeah. This person now... Because they talk so much about you, it put attention on you, okay? All their gossip about you, all it did was make people notice you. And in this crowd of people that they were trashing your name to, there's a king of pentacles who um, started paying attention to you, started watching you online, or um, they're definitely interested in you. I don't think you've met this person yet. Okay, I feel like this is somebody new who wants to approach you. And this could be a business owner, a boss, right? Watching how you work. They like how you work. They love your beautiful. They love your beauty. Um, they love that, you know, your wish fulfillment here. You know, they can see that you have a big cup of spiritual gifts, okay, and abilities, uh, maybe they see you as being very loving, kind, gentle, nurturing. All right. You could be a, um, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be a Virgo, an Aquarius, a Taurus, maybe Aries. Yeah, that's another reason why this person is burdened. All right. Because they know now. Um, that one of their friends, somebody that they talk smack about you to, is now, um, I feel like they want to come in and they want to shot. Yeah, and this person is jealous. Whoever this is from your past, they're jealous, they're envious, um, they're really mad. They're big mad about this, but this is fair. This is fair because this is somebody who walked away from you. Now we have a closing to the cycle. Yeah, all of this is true. Uh, people are finding out the truth about you now, the truth about the situation, and this liar. I feel like they were just... Look, when this person left you behind, all they did was brag about it. They may have even thought it was funny that you were hurting over them, okay? They told all of their drinking partners about it, right? All of their buddies, Hey, have a drink on me, and let's let's laugh about the collective's pain. That's pretty much what they did, 
right? This was a backstabber. Okay, well, now these people know the truth. And this, there's a person in their group that they bragged about you to, you know, okay, who's been watching you. All this person really did was put more attention on you. And I mean, this is somebody who ghosted you, perhaps, just walked away. Now with the Wheel of Fortune, there's new things coming in for you, including money, success, um, upgrades, and this new person, this King of Pentacles. Okay, this person has been watching you like this whole time, okay? They may be um, this new person. They, I'm, t I'm telling you, they're watching how you work. You could be working online. You could have a business, like an online business. They see that you're, um, you're everything that they could possibly wish for in a partner. Okay, the Nine of Pentacles, it's not just all of your abundance. It's the lessons that you've learned, right? And you've, you've climbed some kind of ladder to success. In order to get this kind of success, you have to be driven, motivated, dedicated, smart as a whip, right? Um, business-minded. You have to be maybe fairly charismatic as well. You have to go after the things that you want. You have to be driven, right? Skilled and talented to get this kind of abundance, especially if you're doing something online. Um, just the way that you work, right? You're reliable, you're responsible, you're dedicated and committed to what you're doing. You're a loyal um, independent person um, who's a very high value individual you're trustworthy um, I'm telling you man and you're loving and you're beautiful you're literally everything that this king of Pentacles over here wants um, in a life partner and this liar from your past, the person who bragged about you, they're the ones who showed you to this person. <laughs> now, this new person can't stop watching you. They're watching how you work, I feel. They may even, ooh, that was a lot of cards that dropped out. Sorry about that, Collective. I'm not going to take them all, but... Um, they may even be learning some, some things from you, okay? And that's got this person's interest. They like that. All right, hold on. I have to pick up these cards. That was my fault. What's this one? Yeah, look, this is a new person coming into your life. Um, being encouraged, maybe. This could be somebody also in the public eye. They may even need to travel to get to you, okay? Um, but this is somebody who's very well liked in their community, possibly in the public eye, getting a lot of encouragement, having a victory in their life. This is somebody who's got their act together and they're coming in, okay? And this person from your past, they're in this Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords energy. They know that this person's coming forward. I feel like they've they've confronted and told this um, this ex all of this. Like, well, if you don't want the collective, I want the collective because I can see just by what they're doing online that they're nothing like what you portrayed them to be. Okay. And this new person is entering your life now. This is one of these blessings coming towards you with this wheel of fortune. Oh, man. And this ex can barely take it. They're in a lot of pain. Yeah, look, they know that this is about to be over because you've got new options now coming into your life, especially when it comes to love. Not just love, though. I mean, I feel like um, there's different things in these cups, right? This is wish fulfillment, peace, a lot of abundance, right? Um, uh, new soulmate connection here. More intuitive gifts. Yeah, once you meet this new um, King of Pentacles, 
there's going to be no turning back to anyone from your past. And this person, they feel already like they can't compete with this person. Yeah, they're having a very painful ending. They're seeing this coming to an end. Um, because you've got somebody new coming in. Yeah, look. Look at you. Oh, and an ultimate wish fulfillment. Um, look, you've got the Ten of Pentacles. You've got the Ten of Cups in your reading. Okay, for whoever this is for. You're about to have, and the Wheel of Fortune and the world. You are moving on, closing out a cycle. This is a completion. Okay, now when we're talking about a completion, let's look at where you are right now. Like I said, you've learned all your lessons that you needed to learn and pass your tests. You're in Nine of Pentacles right now, single, transformed, abundant, and independent. You've got everything you need in this picture, and then some. But you're missing one pentacle here. The most you can have in the deck is ten. You only have nine right now, okay? You've got everything you need. The only thing you don't have is a soulmate at your side. There's only one pentacle missing, and that stands for a soulmate connection, okay? Um, and you're ready for that true soulmate now. Um, and that's why you've, you've gone through all of the lessons. You've passed all your tests. You have completed a cycle, okay, but there's still one thing missing, and that's love in your life. That's a real love in your life who's going to stick around. And when this King of Pentacles comes forward and makes you, sorry, collective, my battery died. When this King of Pentacles comes in to make you this love offer, you're going to take it, okay? You're going to see that this person is really vibing at your same level of energy, all right? Um, you're going to see that they're serious. This is somebody who's not, they're, gonna, they're not going to ever want to leave you. They're going to want to commit. They're going to want something grounded, stable, and honest, and true, okay? And they see all of that in you. And it's going to lead to your 10th, it's going to give you your 10th pentacle, because there's the pentacle right there. And it's going to lead to the 10 of pentacles. Now, now you've got ultimate wish fulfillment with the 10 of pentacles and the 10 of cups. This is happiness, emotional fulfillment. Um, both of you are going to be building an empire here. This is generational wealth. This is something that's built to last. And it's all coming in with the turn of this wheel. All right? So, and it's all because you've done your work. You've learned your lessons. You've passed your tests. You've had a transformation. This takes a lot of effort, a lot of time, right? And focus. So, yeah, you are completing a cycle. Once this new person comes in, that cycle is complete. You get your 10th pentacle telling you and this person from your past all they're bragging about you um all of the times they laughed at your pain all it did was attract the attention of this person okay they've been watching you spying on you um i feel like they both have this new person and your person from your past Yeah, they know it too. They know you're about to get um, a new soulmate connection. Yeah, it could possibly even be a twin flame or a displaced divine masculine, divine feminine. Take it how it resonates. But this person from your past, um, they know that this is about to end. They know there's going to be uh, really no competing with this King of Pentacles, okay? Because this King of Pentacles has their life together, and your past person does not. You know, and I feel like they're coming to, this past person may want to come towards you more like in a Two of Pentacles energy to a King of Pents. Yeah, they're having a lot of nightmares. They may be um, being shown what's going to happen to you in your future. 
Um, yeah, and you know what? Uh, they're realizing here that they missed out on a blessing. They're crying over spilt milk. You may have already blocked this person out because you want this new beginning. And this person, they just, they kept avoiding this. They didn't want to confront. They didn't want to, they didn't want to give you an explanation. They just wanted to keep backstabbing you. They wanted to keep um, uh, gossiping and trash talking your name. They've been avoiding this confrontation. They feel very much, I feel like this person feels wounded over this, but they, they've got to see that it's their own fault. Like they know it's their fault, but they still don't want to, they don't want to come forward and accept responsibility, right? All they do is think about you. Very nostalgic energy. You could be a Virgo, you could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe Gemini. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, maybe Aries. Yeah, this new person is an emperor. I'm telling you, I flipping knew it, you guys. <laughs> there's no competing with this person. Uh, when I said there's no competing with this King of Pentacles, I could feel the emperor in them. All right, and nobody competes with the emperor. When you meet this person, they're gonna curl your toes, collective, I'm telling you. And um, yeah, they're gonna protect you, they're gonna defend you, they're gonna protect this connection. Your person cannot compete with this. Look at seven of pentacles coming out in reverse. You're not waiting anymore for this person from your past. You're not just gonna sit back and um, allow them to just keep trash talking your name. Okay, you're moving on and you're about to get new love and a brand new beginning. I am telling you, new love. The Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. New love and a brand new beginning. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> With an Emperor, a King of Pentacles. And this person from your past, see, they're tore up about this because they're the ones who told this King of Pentacles about you. They attracted them to you, okay? <laughs> and that's fair because this person walked away from you. So, um, yes, get ready for this new love. Um, you are already ready for love. Some of you are really focused on your money, your business, your glow up, possibly moving to a new home maybe. So you're really focused on you right now, but that's when new love usually comes in. Okay, and you are ready for the right kind of love now. After everything you've been through and all the lessons you've learned, you're ready, honey. And that they're coming in, so you know... Get prepared for this. And it's an emperor to an empress. This is a power couple. You guys are going to be creating an empire, building generational wealth. Wealth. We're talking wealth. I feel like this is already a business owner. Okay? And you may already be a business owner doing something on the internet that's growing. Okay? Okay? Yeah, I feel like um, this masculine, they're, they're needing to watch this happen. They feel very stuck, okay, um, this person from your past. They feel like they can't do anything about it now. See, if they, if they come out with the truth and say, well, I want the collective, it's going to ruin their reputation. See, they've built a reputation for themselves in trashing yours. They, they would have to, people are going to be saying, what do you mean? I thought you, I thought you were laughing at the collective just last week and now you want another chance with the collective. See, they, they're, they're stuck. I feel like people are already turning on this person, especially this emperor. This emperor's like, if you don't want the collective, I do. I'm, I'm going to go get my empress. You know, but I, I feel like, because this is somebody who recognizes your worth. 
but this person from from your past that they, they don't want to confront this they don't want to admit that they were wrong they don't want to admit what they've done to you behind your back it would ruin their reputation it's all their reputations already getting ruined so let's see what oracles come out for you all right spirit what messages do you have for my beautiful collective Ooh, and we have a stray card in the deck what's that i didn't know anytime i get a stray card it's a good thing it kind of gives us an, an overall energy today in the present moment okay so um this new emperor may come towards you today i feel like this person from your past they're feeling stuck they don't know what to say they don't want to confront they don't want to admit the things that they've done yeah look you're about to you're about to hear from someone new today this is a new soulmate connection and they're they're the ones who are actually going to end up holding the key to your heart okay so you're about to meet this new emperor get ready for whoever this is for um yeah and you're gonna once you meet this new person you're going to leave the pains from the past behind you. Um, you're going to be dating somebody new here, probably within this week. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, you're moving into a whole new cycle. You're starting something new here with somebody new. And yeah, this is a blessing. And you're going to be walking away from this person from your past i feel quite easily like i said once you meet this new emperor you're gonna be seeing stars i feel like they already are like you're gonna be like so you're gonna fall deeply in love with this new person okay like right out the gate right out the gate yep you're closing out a cycle walking away from the old right that's this that's this and you're receiving something new a new a new soulmate so yeah get ready here comes love love is coming in and when one door closes another one opens you're about to get this is the ten, this is the ten of cups in this deck you're about to get ultimate wish fulfillment the kind of soulmate connection you've been wishing for dreaming of and very deserving of okay 